Welcome everyone to another video from the Secrets of the Jedi Canon book. For those unfamiliar with this video series, here I break down an excerpt from the Secrets of the Jedi Canon book that came out a few years ago, which is basically written from Luke Skywalker's point of view, like a diary, where he wrote about almost everything, whether it be the different Jedi of the Republic or the galactic events from before he was born. And once I finish this series, there are two more books that focus on the Sith and bounty hunters that I'll get into next, so make sure to subscribe if that interests you at all. Let's get into it. Jedi Master Plo Koon served the Jedi Order in the Republic during the years before their fall. He fought in many battles during the Clone Wars, and often teamed up with Jedi Generals Anakin Skywalker or Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here's everything Luke learned about the Jedi Master. A Kaldor from Doran, Plo Koon had to wear special equipment to survive in oxygen-rich environments, but he lived through most of the Clone Wars on skill alone. Plo earned a reputation as one of the best pilots in the Jedi Order, dominating the skies until he was ultimately betrayed by the clones under his command. Despite his penchant for taking dangerous missions, Master Plo Koon was known for his calm and kind demeanor. He saw the best in his fellow Jedi, especially in a young girl named Ahsoka Tano, with whom he formed a lifelong bond after he discovered her on Shili. A lot of the Jedi in this section of the book are lesser known ones from the time of the Republic, but despite how little we know about this character, Plo Koon has always been a favorite Jedi of mine. I think part of it has to do with how wise he sounds, but also how he's been shown to be a Jedi possible of compassion, whereas others during this time are too far removed from the rest of the galaxy. Early in the Clone Wars, we see both how he values each clone trooper's life, as well as the bond he has maintained with Ahsoka ever since finding her and bringing her to the Jedi Temple of Coruscant. Even though his live-action scenes have never been that much to focus on, he has a lot of great moments in the animation, and he would be a fun character to learn more about possibly in new Tales of the Jedi episodes. I also found it interesting that Luke mentions how he was known as one of the best pilots in the Order, which to be honest I don't think I was aware of before reading. I know I've seen him fly multiple times, including the Order 66 sequence, but I wasn't aware that he was one of the best that the Jedi had in terms of piloting. Let me know what you think of this excerpt in the comments below. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more videos breaking down this book. And remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.